Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to show a generic process of creating a 2D drawing from 3D models. By the way, this is an updated version of a previous demo that I've done for an older version of Rhino. Okay, let's start. Okay, I'm going to create 2D drawing from this model. Let's select it and go to dimension, make 2D drawing. Okay, and then select the options okay i want the projection to be a third angle projection and i want to have the hidden lines and the scene silhouette are being shown by the way the perspective view angle that is being shown here will correspond to the perspective view that will be generated by this command okay so i'm going to click ok and wait for rhino to generate the corresponding views Okay, it's done. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to hide the model. I can do so by doing an inverse hide, okay, something like that. And now, what I want to do is to remove the hidden lines from the perspective view, okay? You can do so by going to the layers window and then Go to the hidden line curves layer and select the objects within. Okay. By the way, you notice that Rhino has created new layers that are corresponding to the newly generated 2D line works. Okay. So I'm going to select this. Right click, select object. Okay. Let's deselect this, this stuff over here by pressing and holding a control key. Deselect and deselect. So uh, we have these hidden lines over here being selected. We can press delete. Okay. Yep. Let's close this. Okay. The next thing I want to do is to create a page layout that corresponds to the 2D drawing. So to do that, go to view, layout, new layout. Okay, in this case here, I want to use the printer as a cute PDF writer, which is a free PDF converter that suits our purpose here. Okay, you might want to rename it the layout, but I think I'll leave it as a page one. I'm going to set the size to A3, landscape. I'm going to click OK. You notice that a new tab has been created that corresponds to our page layout, okay? Called page one, okay? The next thing that I would like to do is to scale the 2D views until they correspond to a more appropriate scale, okay? So I'm going to double click, okay? By double clicking, we are going to sort of like editing mode where we can zoom and manipulate our 3D scene here, okay? So what I'm going to do is um, zoom and adjust the scene to a uh, view size that will correspond to or closely match the intended scale. Okay, something like that for me and then making sure that you are in this mode okay not 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 in this uh locked canvas mode but in this mode go to the properties edit okay click on this and then press enter at the command prompt and this will show us the current scale okay we are one element on layout corresponds to a distance in model of 0.629 Okay, I reckon that the closest integer to 0 0.629 so on so forth is 1. So I'm going to type 1, enter. And what we have on screen is actually a scale of 1 to 1, okay? From this point onwards, you should not zoom in and out of the 3D view because this will break the scaling parameter that we already set. Okay, if you need to zoom, you might want to double click to go into this lock canvas mode and then you know, zoom like that okay 
However, we can still do things like panning. Okay, I'm going to pan this by pressing and holding the right mouse button, and do a bit of relay out. Okay. Okay, I'm going to scale this a little bit bigger. Okay, something like that. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to set the appropriate line weight and the line type. Okay. To do that, we can go back to the layer window again and firstly set the line type. Okay, you notice that the line type has already been set nicely for us. In the previous version of Rhino, we have to do this ourselves. Okay. However, the print brief, we might have to do a little bit of resetting. Okay, uh, he has already set the main line, which corresponds to the scene silhouette curves to 0 0.5. So I want to leave this as that. However, for the hidden lines corresponding to the hidden curves layer, I want to set this to something thinner. Okay, I, I don't want to use the default. So I click on this and let's set to 0 0.25. Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe I will want to also add center line. Okay. Hello. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer and call it center line. Okay, and double click to make sure that it's the current layer and then set the line type to center. Okay, set line type to center, maybe uh print width. And set it to something that is thin, 0 0.18. Okay, and then let's uh, head over to this page one layout to add our center line. Okay, be very careful with the scene. Try not to zoom in and out when you're in the edit mode. Okay, so I want to be somewhere here and double click in to add a line. Add it over here, okay? Something like that. Let me do a short one first. Okay, you can see it's a center line. And I want to make a duplicate for for the one below, okay? So press the OK. Okay, something like that. Okay. Okay. The next thing I want to do is to add dimensions. Okay. And let's create a new layer for dimensions so that we can put them inside. Okay. Double click to make sure that it is the current layer. <laughs> and I want to set the print width of the dimension to be, let's say, something thin 0.18. Okay, okay, now that I'm in this layer, so let's uh, proceed to create our dimensions. Okay, maybe I want to create one here. So I go to dimension and create a, a linear dimension. We'll create another dimension over here. Okay, you notice that the dimension tags are very small. So how do I make them bigger? To do that, you can go to dimension annotation style. Okay, and select that current style, which is this. Okay, click Edit. 
for the text height, you must go to fonts and reset the height. Okay, I'll set it to something bigger, three. Okay, and the arrows also, I think I want it to be bigger as well. So maybe I'll set it to three as well. Click apply. Ah, you can see now it's uh, bigger and we can see better. Okay, um, maybe I want to round off this to one decimal place. To set the decimal place, you can go to the line units, go to the linear resolution. Now it's set to two decimal place, so let's uh, I won't change it to one decimal place, okay? Click apply. Yeah, you can see now it's round off to one decimal place, okay? Click OK. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is to put in the title block, okay? So double click and let's go to file, import, okay? This is the title block that I want. I think I should group it first, just in case I need to move them as a whole, okay? Group. Okay, something like that. By the way, if you want to create a six view autographic drawing, you might want to refer to a previous video that I've created by clicking on the label over here, okay? Which will bring you to another video that shows how to create a six view autographic drawing, okay? Okay, if you need to add text into your technical drawing, you can do so by typing the text command. Okay, text. And maybe I want to add the scale, okay? Uh, type 1 is to 1 and you can set the appropriate parameters over here and click OK. And let's put it over here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I place the scale as one is to one. And you can also you know add other text as well, but I'm not going to do that, okay? I'm not going to bore you with repetitive work. Okay. Okay, assuming that we are done with all our uh, necessary tweaking and adding of text and we want to start to export or print our uh, document. To do that, you can go to uh, File, Print, okay? I will reset it to my printer, destination which is the cute PDF writer, okay? If you want to do a physical print, you can select a physical print printer, okay? And you might want to go through the options to make sure that they are suitable for your requirement. Okay, so I'm going to set the scale to 1 to 1, line line type to match the uh, pattern definition. Okay, and then I can click print to generate my PDF. Okay, and you can click print also if you desire to have a physical print to uh, send it to a uh, physical printer. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this demonstration. Hope that's been useful. Bye.